Hello guys, it's Cabbage Face here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Nino Kuni. Wrath of the White Witch. As a complete title for a change, not just Nino Kuni. But Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Um where what were we okay, is this I guess this is how we're gonna start every episode, and I was wondering what we were doing in the last episode. As before, always make sure and pick up those gilders from the pots, and make sure you always walk back which way you just came, because that makes total sense. Anyway, <laughs> man, I'm just walking in circles here, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We need to get the wand back from the king. But we were supposed to go hang out at the weapon shop in the meantime. Now, did I hang out at the weapon shop? Did I do that? I did do that. What am I? Jeez. Oh my god. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, you know that I'm <clears throat> officially dumber than dumb. But be that as it may, yeah, we're not even supposed to be going this way either. Holy crap! I'm setting a world record for dumbness on this episode. Maybe we should just start over. So I literally haven't accomplished anything since I left this bush right here. Well, I picked up the five guilders, so there was that. Did pick up those five guilders. That would make a nice down payment on the jacuzzi sometime down the line, so... so we gotta keep that, we gotta hang on to that. Hey, girl. Are you enjoying your red herring? Or your red earring? I sure hope so. Yes, return to cat face. Well, let's just do that, then. Aren't we just gonna find out something else, though? Like, once we get his enthusiasm back to him? Didn't he send us off for some other reason, or did we not give the enthusiasm back to him yet? Because I remember saying he... Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. And then he went off to look for the wand. So we hung out while he looked for it, and now he's not here. Yes. What seems to be the trouble, sir? Why is my ear itching so much? Maybe I'm the cat now. I'm not Al Stewart, that's for sure. Oh, man, really? How does a cat that big just go missing? You can't miss him. Oh, good lord. Well, as a question of etiquette, when he passed, did he give you the ass or the crotch? I repeat, did he give you the ass? Oh, shoot, I'm trying to fart. Shit, I think I need to take a dump. Oh, this is not good. This is not a good time to have to take a dump. You know what? Stop it. Just stop. We're, got, we're gonna get through this episode. Okay, so this is that part, that dialogue that I was talking about earlier, where they spend forever explaining something. Well, this is that part. This is the part where they explain about how we have to go to the other world and everything. And I didn't feel like sitting through this dialogue, so you know what I did? I spent about two and a half hours just making a song, and it's not good, okay? Don't get your hopes up. Two and a half hours, no good song gets made in that amount of time. However, I made it, and let's just listen to it so, to get us through this dialogue. So I don't care anymore, so bye. Yo, my name is Oliver, and I'm going on a quest. Gonna try to save my mom, and I'm gonna do my very best. Got a partner named Drippy, and he looks like a chicken. Came in properly dressed, but you would have guessed. Now the whole town's impressed. Ding dong dell, now I'm feeling strong as hell. If I'm wrong, feel free to tell. Yonder yonder's gone under a spell. I can't foretell. Will there be a death now? Someone hacked and blazed himself. Beat all on like they like Chris Cornell. This is Nino Cooney, and we're in the first town. We barely got started and shit's going down I'm here to save my mom in case no one remembers Now I'm just waiting on some party members I uh, attract some enthusiasm from a kid killing rats in a cast despite no pay, no gas mask, and that's no sarcasm If there's such thing as balls, he has them So I gave back the fat cat's will, he almost had an orgasm He said he had a wand, but he forgets where it spawned. Fled with dread in my head, ready to thread the thread that I've been con. Instead, oh, of course I'm wrong. The cat's fled, he's gone. Not a shred of an idea where. Maybe he's on the john. This is 
Nino Kuni and we're in the first town. We barely got started and shit's going down. I'm here to save my mom in case I want to land first. Now I'm just waiting on some party members. And with that, I'm finally back. So, <laughs> look at that, just enough to skip the dialogue, too. And for us to see that you can cast Gateway pretty much right in the middle of the town of Ding Dong Dell. Right in front of everybody, and nobody cares at all. Even though the game was kind of telling us earlier we needed a wide open space for that. Apparently you don't really need a wide open space. Ah, you can hit me with your car, but you can't kill me. I'm the hero. Try it again? Ah, uh, you can't kill me. Best of luck. I'm ten years old and you can't run over me. Ha! Okay, enough of messing around. <laughs> you know, that guy behind him though. Man, that guy behind him was the same as the trucks parked on the road. Huh, so we... In the process of skipping that dialogue, I did skip a couple of important things, maybe, that you might have wanted to know, which, number one that your soulmate in the other world may not necessarily also be the same species as you, like a human could have an animal for a soulmate over here, and vice versa. But in the case of the King Cat, that's not so. His soulmate is definitely a cat, and it turns out to be this woman's a cat. And what's really cool is if you look really closely at the faces, of the two cats, you can tell that they're like the same sort of character. And I just think that's one of the really clever little art tricks that they used in the game. To kind of give the soulmates similar faces, or similar features. And some, you know, will be more obvious than others, but uh, for the most part they usually look the same. Which I know has nothing to do with who you are on the inside, but still. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, it's like I was saying before, the game did say something about, you know, you needing a lot of room, a lot of space around you to cast a gateway spell, but it turns out you don't have to. And people might say, well, that's kind of careless of them, but if you really think about it, remember Twilight Princess? Remember what a pain in the ass that was when you would try to warp as a wolf? And Midna would say, no, stop, you can't do that because somebody might see you. So Nino Kuni probably... Probably the programmers were thinking about that, and they said, you know what, screw it, just let them use the spell wherever they want. And I say more power to them for that, and it was the right move. Now here, apparently, we've been stopped by pee again. So first we got little girls who have to pee. We got little girls whose names are, name is pee. Did she even tell us that yet? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did. Hey, P, you didn't compliment on my outfit, P. Do you like my outfit, P? Or do you just think I should pee in it? Really, 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 really. Really and truly and truly and truly? Yes, really and truly and truly and true. Ah, you made me lose count. Okay, so this is where she tells us her name. Her name is P. So, she's P. That's great to know. You know, in the bathroom! And there she goes, just like P always does. Well, <laughs> apparently Drippy still doesn't know who I'm talking to. How, you know, sucks to be him then. But apparently P knows what's going on, so we just follow her. Just follow our imaginary friend. Follow your nose! It's up a rubber hose. Alright, she's also fast. But then, P usually is fast when it's coming out of you. I mean, nobody pees slow. It hurts to pee slow. You know, it's like, I can't stop going once I've started! It stings! So give me another beer bottle. What are you, a camel? 
<laughs> I don't even know. Like, who, who even knows what sound a camel makes? So is this where the cat is? Is this where Timmy is? Is this where me is? Yeah, and the other thing about this, our whole reason for coming here was to try to find a connection. Like, because we don't understand, like, the reason we're doing this right now is because we don't understand where the cat went in the other world. So we thought that by coming here, then seeing that this cat had a similar problem, if we could figure out the reason why this cat went missing, we could find th that the reason for the other cat going missing would be the same, because that's how the worlds work a lot of times when you have a problem your soulmate will have a similar problem and for the same reason so if you can figure out the reason for one you figure out the reason for the other you solve the problem but when you come here you find out that the reason this cat went missing was because he was off chasing mice which is why I said earlier you could have just consulted your two year two year old coloring book to figure that out but hey whatever they had to do something you know, so they might as well have made it simple. When I was little, my concept of the food chain was basically five animals. Mouse, cat, dog, lion, elephant. And each one just, you know, ate the one that came under it. Except, of course, for mouse and elephant, which is ironic because mice kind of chase elephants in the circus. There's Drippy carrying the cat for us. We brought our cat back. But the cat came back the very next day. So I swear I heard a song like that in school. And I remember thinking it was so credity. But I haven't heard it since then. And that was like fifth grade that I heard that song. So, so I would have been ten years old. So they're talking about twenty seven years ago. And where they got that you know, where they would have gotten it from. It's probably some random whoever the equivalent of Mavis Bacon was back in the eighties probably just had one of them random programs. The funny thing is, probably I could look it up on YouTube and it would be on there. I haven't tried to do that. Hmm. It was so great seeing you, Miss Fatty. Maybe we'll see you again sometime. Hmm? So, you know, <laughs> so basically what you're saying is we could have deduced that about the other cat, but hey, why not? You know, while we're on the subject of this, what is up with that lantern? Like, seriously, I've heard of some twisted-ass ideas for nose piercings. Never heard of somebody piercing their nose to stick a lantern in it. But hey... I guess if somebody wanted to cosplay as Drippy, they could do that. But I wouldn't wish that on anybody, man. I don't wish that level of pain. No thank you. So with that, we wore back to our hometown. Or, well, hometown, should I say. Back to the game world. Back to the other world again. Without even stopping to go take a break or take a nap or anything. We're just gonna keep going, man. We're tireless, man. We're running this. Let's go. Hello, pee, pee girl. Good day. Oh, now she's hungry. Okay, I guess she's done pee peeing now. Huh? Well, whatever. So, yeah, I'm reminded of the, uh, there's this memory I'm thinking about right now for some reason. For some reason, I want to talk about it, but I don't because it's boring. I don't feel like talking about it right now. <laughs> it's like a lot of times you see kids repeating things to their parents, you know, and they just say the same thing over and over and over again until they get a response. And sometimes it's really annoying to watch them do that because it's like, why don't you just shut up? Who cares, you know? Who really gives a shit? But the funny thing is, I actually remember being a kid once, and I remember this day that I went to get my hair cut at the barber. And I guess the barber was next door to, like, a cookie shop. And they had this deal going on where the barber would just write the words, free cookie, on a sheet of paper and give it to you. And you could go take it down to the shop, to the cookie shop. 
and turn it in, and you get a free cookie. So after I got my hair cut, he made one of my free cookie... He made this free cookie coupon for me. And I took it over there. Well, when we went to the cookie shop and turned in the coupon, instead of giving me one cookie like I thought she was going to do, she gave me four of them. And so sometime later, after I was getting done with the cookies, I was telling my mom, she gave me four cookies! And, like, and mom wasn't saying anything back to me, because, well, who cares, you know? Okay, so I gotta name this guy. Uh, you know what I'm gonna name. There's only one thing you can name this guy. And there's just no question about it. I'm not going to even explain it. Because I don't think it needs explaining. So there's just no way that you could possibly name this guy anything else. So back to my stupid story. So I was in there saying that to my mom. She, she gave me four cookies! And a few seconds later, she gave me four cookies! You know, and uh, basically, like, when I think back to that moment, I remember that the reason I kept saying that over and over again is because I wanted Mom to know that I was thankful. I wanted her to know that I appreciated her, the lady giving me four cookies. So I kept repeating it. She gave me four cookies, you know, in this celebratory sort of... You know, like I was celebrating it or something that she was giving me four cookies. So... Maybe that's the way it is with all kids or something, I don't know. But I, mean, I just know that with me that day, I just wanted to make sure... You know, that my parents knew that I was thankful and that I appreciated... It, you know, and that I appreciated the generosity. The last thing I wanted was for them to think that I wished she had given me more, you know, or something like that, because I didn't want to, you know, come across like one of those. I mean, I don't know if there even is such a thing as a person that's that greedy that would get four free cookies and then complain that they didn't get more. But anyway, so that thing that I bought at the weapon shop, I'm actually equipping that on this guy now. And, uh, apparently he can wear that mantle thing, too, so we'll give that to him. If I had another, um, giant's tooth, I'm pretty sure I could equip that on him, too. What I might actually do is take the giant's tooth that I have on Oliver, and take it off of him and put him on Pico. Or put it on Patrick, should I say. He's called Pico on my other file. But, you know... Whatever. So, do we really need to... I, I mean, I guess if we're going to do any grinding... I'd like to do a little bit of grinding with Patrick, just to get him leveled up a little bit. But I don't want to... I kind of... So I was thinking I'd do it outside earlier. But then it's like, well, why don't I just go straight on in here and do it? So I'll have to use the spell to get in there. Wait, yeah, so I do have that spell. Now I can open that treasure chest in that building. We'll have to make sure we can go do that. Probably when I open that treasure chest, there's going to be something in there for Peacol, too. Yeah, if I ever call him Peacol by accident, I'm referring to Patrick there. So, it's just a force of habit, because that's... I mean, I'd, I'd honestly be surprised if you didn't know who I was talking about, but maybe you don't. You know, there's people coming in from the outside. The outside viewers, non-member hits, as they call them on opinions. So we could cut the video here, or we could go inside and show off a few of the monsters. I think I will opt for the latter. There is actually a monster in here that I want to catch. Now, we don't have the ability to catch our own monsters yet. You would have thought we would have that by now, but we don't. And so at this point in the game, you might be starting to wonder, am I ever going to be able to do that? Yes, you will. So don't give up on it just yet, you know, even though, as many times as I've compared this game to Pokemon, and the fact that there are so many monsters that match. Well, the thing is, you haven't seen any monsters that match the ones that you have with you, so you might start to think, well, those are exclusive monsters, or, like, whatever. Then again, I mean, I've never, like, seen a Charmander in the wild. I'm gonna feel so stupid if that's not the way you pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's actually Charmander, not Charmander. Like, what is this, a shampoo commercial? But, you know, like, I mean, you never see them, like, out in the wild. At least I haven't ever seen them. Any of the starters. Like, you never see them out in the wild where you could catch them. You see Pikachus out there. But I don't think Pikachu's actually a starter in any of the games, is he? He might be. But I've never seen just, like, you know, a Squirtle or a Charmander Let's or a... 
Egypt or a Bulb or a Venusaur, whatever the first form of that is, Ivysaur. So I don't know if that's just what it did there. So anyway, now we have a second familiar to choose from. We can actually send him out whenever we want to. Now keep in mind that just because you have two familiars doesn't mean you can have them both out there fighting at the same time. Since you're all sharing the same HP bar, that would be excessively dangerous to have two, you know, two familiars out there taking damage, and all that damage coming off of the same HP bar. So, in essence, you're still, all of you are all just treating the same HP. It's basically Oliver's HP bar. Whatever damage your familiars take goes to Oliver, basically. So, in the end, if his HP gets low, you just have to be ready for that, be ready for that to happen. So we do one more fight? We can do one more fight, can't we? What do we got here? It's a healing touch. Do I really need that? I think I will. Just in case, I mean, you never know. So you never can really be too careful in these new areas. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you'll hit a difficulty spike without even realizing that it's that it happened, you know, and suddenly you're in a fight, and all of a sudden you're taking more damage than you realize. Bam, that was pretty good right there. Just got to buy on the seat of my pants there. Sometimes these guys can cast a water spell on you and do like 10 or 15 damage, so be sure and pick up your quarks when you get them, or, you know, pick up your glims, which is technically what those things are called. I think we've established that already. And there, just like that, two fights and Pico's at level 3 already, so... Yay, Patrick, I mean... You know who I'm talking about. Alright, so are there any plants down here that we can hide behind? Let me see here. Ah, oh, here we go! Perfect, perfect! Wait, can I get the camera behind that? Oh yeah, this is glorious. This is glorious... Yeah, I guess that'll do. Yeah, that's good. So next time... Oh my god, guys, we're really doing this. Next time on Nino Kuni, back to plant face. See you guys later.